All right, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon. I have four card packs that I, uh, today to open. I bought some packs uh, yesterday. Well, what would not be yesterday, because this video is going to come out Thursday. I'm recording it today, which is Wednesday. <laughs> so I bought some packs Tuesday. Unfortunately, I got absolutely nothing good out of them. Literally pure junk. My girlfriend, though, got some absolutely amazing pulls, which... Where's my luck? So hopefully my luck is going to be on these packs online, hopefully. So let's go ahead and jump right in and pray for pools. Come on, give me something good. At least a prism. I'd be super happy with that. Got a gibble. I'm cool with that. Like a tongue. Eh. I really, I hate Rotom. I really do not like Rotom at all. Pokemon Fan Club is cool. Missing Clover is handy. Uh, but Gibble is really good. I actually do really want to build a Garchomp deck. And we got Type Null, non hollow. Hmm. I'm not super excited about that, but he's okay. Let's go ahead and jump in and open another. Come on. I got another Gibble. And also a Riolu. That is good. I got two Lookers. One of them being a Reverse Hollow. That's cool, that's cool. And, ah, uh, Tapu Lele. Meh. Meh. Two more. Hopefully we'll get something good. Maybe, maybe not. I have a feeling that I will not. Ah, uh, God. Absolute garbage. I got another Riolu. I can deal with that. Please. Ah, uh, Hollow Weavile. I, I like Weavile. I've always loved Sneeze and Weavile. Weavile from the games. But, uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing really too exciting. I really want to get a Prism card, but my luck isn't with me. Last one. Hopefully, hopefully, we will get something good. Uh, oh, we got two face down, and we got Volkner. Volkner is cool. Cosmog is cool. There's Young Trump. That's cool. Uh, oh, Hippodon. Never seen you before. You're actually not too bad. Huh. Wow. For each star in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. And it does 100 damage base. Jeez. That's good. You. You're not bad. Alright. Luck. Ribby on our side. Oh. And it was. With a Silvalli GX. Heck. Yes. And I got a Type Null. That is sweet. That is absolutely perfect. Holy crap. And it's colorless. You guys have absolutely no idea how much I like colorless. I've, this card is actually it, convenient or ironically enough, not conveniently enough, ironically enough, when I was actually opening up the packs with my girlfriend, uh, Tuesday, she just happened to get this exact same card, literally same hollow type and everything. So yeah, uh, her luck bled onto me, at least for online. So you know what? I'm cool with that. That is awesome. Turbo drive is really, really good. Uh, being able to attach energy from my discard pile to one of my bench Pokemon, like, heck yeah. And it does 120 damage and Sil Valley GX has 210 health, like, heck yeah. He's going to knock out so many. I wouldn't mind building a deck based around him. Uh, I just don't have enough type null, unfortunately. Uh, so, going on to part two of this video. Ooh, versus ladder reset. Oh, ho, ho. you're not too bad. You're fancy looking. Regirock GX, Bedrock Press. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Ooh, that's good. Doing 100 damage? Like, yeah, that's not bad at all. What else do we have? We have a Carbink. Just two different Carbinks. That's awesome. And, ooh, Floatstone. Ho ho ho. Good card, good card to have. Alright. So, today. What I think I'm going to play with is my, as you can see, Lugia, because I love Lugia. Um, I think I'm also going to be playing, I'm going to play my Ampharos deck. I kind of want to show this deck off because I'm incredibly proud of it. And watch me after saying that, I'm not going to win a single match. It's, it's bound to happen. After being really, really proud of this deck that I made, I'm going to lose. Because that's just my luck. Somebody's probably going to be playing the uh, Garchomp deck, as is normal. Because that's just my luck. It's so good. Alright. Come on. RNGesus. 
Yes. Let me go second. So I can attack. Go take you out, Diggywig. Ooh. Not the best hand. Didn't get double color list, but we did get a Lugia, which is good. Huh. Aether Paradise is going to benefit him. At the moment, we're both using electric types, so I don't think I'm going to play that, unless if I absolutely need to. Hmm. Pokemon Catcher is good. Jolteon EX. Alright, it looks like we're both going to be playing essentially the same thing. Uh, both primarily electric types. Which is cool, that's fine. Hopefully, hopefully, I can get some energy. He has some extra HP. He got a wine Nona. He's about to pack his bench. Luckily, he can't attack. I can only hope that maybe I'll draw a double colorless. No. Got a second electric energy, but that is fine. He's only going to be able to do 30 damage to me in the beginning. Fighting Fury Belt only boosts his HP by 40. And he does 10 more damage. So technically, he's going to be able to do 40 damage to me. That's fine. Lugia is going to be able to eat that. Not an issue. Hopefully he will put another energy onto his Jolteon too, which will just give me even more of an advantage. Unfortunately though, because he has that 40 extra health, he now is at 200 health. So he outdoes me by about 30 health, which sucks. Neither of us have anything on our bench, so this is going to come down to whoever can smack out the most damage. He's going to use his second move, so right now that's going to do 80 damage. Now he's playing Winona, so he's about to pack his bench too. Let's see what Flash Ray does. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Well, ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this sucks. He's already up quite a big advantage right now. Huh. I, I, I jinxed myself, guys. I did it. I jinxed myself. Ah, that's annoying. I was so excited to use this deck. And here I go, just getting absolutely screwed. Oh, and it's my weakness. And guess what? I can't attack. Yep. We're done. We're just going to go ahead and concede on that note. <laughs> and just go cry in our little corner. Because there's no way that we would win that. Absolutely no way. Unfortunately. I forget what's in this deck. Uh, you look primarily psychic. For some reason. I'll slant it and slazzle. Here we go. I totally forget what was in this one. Huh. I mean, it's not bad. It's certainly not good, but it's not bad. I can give it a try. I don't know how beneficial it would be, but you know what? Let's let's do it for the giggles. For the giggles, everybody. Maybe we'll be able to win a match with it. Maybe not. I do really want to try out my Houndoom, though, because I am eager to show you guys that very annoying deck to go against. It's so much fun to play. It's absolutely just so much fun to play. Let's hope that maybe we have advantage, and we don't. We're going against a fighting dragon, and you know what that means? It's probably a Garchomp. Ha <laughs> ha uh, ha. Looks like I'm going to get screwed again. <laughs> what is up with that mustache? My lord, that is an intense mustache. Of course I lost the coin flip, because that's just my luck today. You know what? That's totally fine. We're going to just swallow our pride and maybe possibly make it through. So... He got Entei, which is cool. He's pretty strong. Decently strong. Oh, it's not my turn. Oh, he mulligan. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that's my fault. I was reading shit. So, okay, that's good. At least he mulligan. He doesn't have any card sleeves, so I'm hoping that he's not going to be one of the best players. I judge people by their card sleeves, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, I freaking knew it. He's playing that Lucario deck. Or not that Lucario build that... Well, it is a Lucario build technically, but it's utilizing Garchomp and uh, that one blonde hair chick. Ooh, yes. Let me draw three cards. I will do that all day long. Oh, okay. Maybe he's just doing a primary fighting type. I could be... I could be wrong. All right. Do I want to end him? It's a good chance that he did get a way better hand. Huh. He's using primarily fighting. I have electric in here. I'm going to play my stadium. Um, you know what? I'm going to end. Let's do that. Let's just see what comes of this. I could either really screw myself over. 
I, okay, I at least got two Pokemon Center ladies. I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that. It's going to take him a hot minute to actually build up. It's 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Jet Punch can be annoying. It would take him four times to actually take out Salandit. But he is... Ah, freaking called it. He's going to use that Gibble. That little Gibble. Ah, he's going to go for Salandit. Oh! Oh, okay, it does both. It's it's kind of... It's similar to Hoopa. You guys know who Hoopa is. He is annoying to fight. But, luckily, I got Salazzle. And you know what? I'm going to hot poison your face, little buddy. Yep. Burned and poisoned. Aw, yeah. Yep. Take that. And then we're just going to combustion in his face. Aw, yeah. Take that damage. Let it stack. Alright, done 80. He did not get rid of his poison or burn. Oh, this is great. Hopefully he doesn't have a Pokemon Center Lady. That's all I can hope for. But, if everything goes according to plan, I should be able to pop on another energy, fire fang his face, and then we should be good. As long as he doesn't get something to heal. Which he might be able to. Yeah, Mallow. He's going to end up grabbing Pokemon Center Lady. Any sane person would have a Pokemon Center Lady in their deck. Unless if it's in his prize cards, then I have a bit of an advantage. He's taking a while. He's looking, he's trying to figure out something to heal with, and he's not finding it. Hopefully, he doesn't, because then that's going to put me in a two prize card lead. Oh, he didn't find it. Oh no, he take a shuffle to the top of his deck. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to attack. Never mind, he is. But, it's still not going to be enough. He's not, he's just going to be able to jump punch, which is totally fine. That is totally cool with me. Doesn't hurt my feelings in the slightest. Because I'm about to knock you out. Doesn't matter. That's yeah, totally cool. Ooh, Team Skullgrunt. Discard two energy cards from it. Oh, yes. I love this card. Oh, there goes your double card. Let's say goodbye to that. Mmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. And he conceded. Heck yeah. See, you know, sometimes, sometimes this works out every now and again on the rare occasion it works out <laughs> oh that mvp i only did 50 damage that's i'm i'm happy with that i'm happy with that ah that's satisfying considering how sunday i went on a three streak loss this this feels so good this is just amazing all right feeling a bit better let's give an attempt back over to our Aaron Frost deck. I want to, I want this one to work. I really enjoyed this deck. He has advantage, but he's doing a fire water. So I'm kind of confused as to how he has advantage. Unless if he's not actually fire water. And if he can connect. But luckily playing a primary electric deck, I should have advantage. Um, oh, look at him. He's nice. I don't want to go first. Oh, the broken heart. Let's give him a nice smiley face. <laughs> Alright. I got two Lugias. I also got Professor Birch. That's It's not bad, but it's not good. I do like having my Iron Frost right there. Hmm. I think I like having Pokemon Center Lady. So it all depends on what I draw. What in the world are you? Volcanion. Wow, what a pretty card. And you're still loading. Another Volcanion. Is this what he's going to play? A and another Volcanion. All right, awesome. <laughs> His weakness is water. So maybe that's where my disadvantage laid. Is that, it it's a, surprise, surprise, it's another Volcanion. Oh, okay, that works. Choose two of your bench Pokemon, attach a fire energy. Oh, he's going to build himself. I know exactly what you're about to do. All right. On that note, I'm going to attach that energy, and I'm going to Professor Birch, because I really can't have anything go wrong. Oh, double colorless. Yes. All right. I'm in advantage right now, at quite a high advantage. I do have my Golem GX, Golem GX, which is a really, really good card. Um. He pretty much knocks out like anything. Why would you max elixir? Oh. He's going to try and build up as much fire as he can. On his cards. What? 
did he do? Oh, he boosted their attacks. Wow, that damage though. Holy crap. Huh. Jeez. All right, well, I'm going to heal myself because <laughs> uh, I need it. And let's arrow ball his face. It won't do too much, but next turn I will be able to knock him out. He's not going to have enough uh, fire energy to attach, really. Volcanic Heat is going to be something to worry about, but luckily, if he does use that, he can attack me next turn. So I'll be able to knock him out relatively easily. I don't really have much built, though, which is really scary. Amphros is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's probably my internet connection. Oh, okay, maybe it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It might be him. Ah, oh, God, that Max Elixir. Ah. He's building them. He's building them so hard. Ooh. Once during each player's turn, that turn may discard a fire fighting energy. Huh. He is just, he is searching for energy. Like crazy. Which is totally fine. That's cool. I can deal with that. I'm going to send this guy a friend request. Go tell him to check me out on YouTube. <laughs> so if you watch this, buddy, uh, you'll be able to hear my uh, commentary. Like, I'm enjoying our match so far. Uh, I'm liking your strategy. I've never gone against somebody that's used this many Volcanion before. Um, I usually ignore Volcanion, to be totally honest with you. Um, it's just not my card. Okay, he did bump up his health. That's cool, though. That is totally fine. Ooh, I got him a Reap. Aw, yeah. All right, hopefully. All right, he won't knock me out with that volcanic heat as long as he doesn't use something to boost his damage. There's a stadium card in play. Ooh, yeah, this guaranteed knockout and let's go get rid of his stadium. Yep, gives me some advantage. And I got another Mareep. I can deal with that. Yep, so he's going to attack. He's going to do, it's going to put me up to 160 damage, which, bad. Uh, but he won't be able to attack next turn, which is good. He technically has, what, 2 times 3, 6, 60 damage on him, on top of my 4, which is 80. What is that? It's a lot. Not enough to knock him out, though. Oh, yes, he end me. I will take that. Yes. Give me something good. I, I did lose my secondary evolution, but that's okay. Oh, I have my other Ampharos. That's really annoying. But, what's awesome is I do have a Pokemon Center Lady. So I do have some kind of an advantage. If I can get Ampharos as my active, this could really mess him up. A lot. Luckily, with Pokemon Center Lady, that's going to allow me to last just a tiny bit more. Maybe. He's drawing down his deck really bad. I'm at 41 and he's down to 22 already. I'm one card up on him. This is going to be interesting. This will be certainly interesting. He's not going to knock me out. Although it's going to come darn close. That's okay. We're going to heal. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and evolve Flaffy. We are going to go ahead and put an electric energy on it. And we're going to arrow ball. This is not going to knock him out. But let's go do a lot of damage. A lot of damage it came close he's ultimately going to end up knocking me out oh no wait never mind he can't attack <gasps> oh unless what he's going to do is probably retreat out that Pokemon because he does have that float stone that is a good move that's smart ah he's going to juggle them oh ho, 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 ho. smart you're draining yourself down, though, man. That's a bit worrisome. Playing straight Volcanians is cool. I don't mind. I like your strategy, though, of just hovering the two back and forth. That's a good strategy. But the question is, did you get a fire? Oh. How weird. But did you get a fire? He's thinking. He's thinking. We're thinking the same thing. Trying to figure out what's going on. Oh! He ended his turn. 
Huh. Well. I'm going to see if maybe... And I apologies in advance if you do watch this. Or, well, by the time you watch this, if you do watch this, it's already happened. I'm going to go ahead and end you. <laughs> Let's see what goes on. This could really, really mess him up. A lot. Alright. Alright. I'm going to start building up Ampharos. That's what I really need to do. Lugia is decent where he's at. He does enough damage as is. He doesn't have anything to rotate this Pokemon out. I am going to risk knocking him out. I know he will ultimately probably end up knocking out Lugia. That's okay. I am going to play Hooligans, Jim, and Cass next. That's going to be my call. I could wait. Oh, my connection's going out again. Come on, don't lose it. Don't lose it. I want to add you, buddy. I wonder if I can add you right now. That's how I want to do that. Oh, there we go. Add friend. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, please accept that, buddy. I hope you do. I really hope you do. And so I'm going to advertise myself. Let's see if I can get rid of some of your... Oh, darn it. Disappointment. All right, that's cool. That's totally okay. That's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to do 160. I'm going to knock him out. I already know that. I understand that. Ah. Uh, this is troublesome. Which one do I want to go for, though? If I do attack, do you know what? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to attack. Unless if he by chance ha maybe has a float stone in there. I'm just going to go ahead and pass this turn. I'm going to send it back to you, friend. Let's see what you do. You're about to pop some energy on him. I hope this connection doesn't give out. Hope. Fortunately, my energy, my internet connection doesn't really like me too much. I only have 11 more cards left to go, though, man. I don't really have any EX or GX. Except for my Lugia and my Ampharos, but, uh... My god, man, how many Volcanion do you have? Oh, he put them back into his deck. He knows he's down to 13 cards. He's he's watching it. He's watching it. I don't think he has any more energy, though. <laughs> I have a very strong feeling that he has run out of energy. Because that's already 9. I know I've taken out some of his other energy. Pretty easily. Or maybe not. Maybe not. So, he must have some extra energy, because what, 3, 6, 9. I knocked out one Pokemon that had a few. Ah, uh, there might be some inside of his prize cards. That's what it is. That's got to be what it is. Well, we're just going to do the same strategy. We're going to wait. I want you to waste putting some energy on this Volcanion. That is what I want you to do. Pop some energy on him, please. Lower your chances. I will love it. He's going to end me. Okay. I'll take that. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. It's better than my current hand. I'm fine with that. Let's see, maybe I'll get something else. Ooh, and I did. I got the Mareep and Flaffy. And I also got the Evo Soda. Life is good. It's bad for you, though, because I'm about to start stacking up some damage. Oh, he got a Float Stone. He's about to float him on out there. Here it comes. Yep. Kind of gave up my chance on ever being able to do some decent damage. That's totally fine. I see what you're doing. You go Volcanic Heat. You're going to knock me out. That's totally fine, though. That's totally fine. Oh, it still hurt my soul a little bit, though. Just a little bit. I might have just thrown my entire match away. Who knows? It's possible. I could have just really, really messed up just now. A hot chance that I did. But at the same time, if my game would stop freezing, I think I still have the distinct advantage. Which is awesome. Let's go ahead and electro bullet. And I'm going to do how much health do you have? I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about that main one. All I have to do is land two attacks. 
which I will be able to. Come on. Oh, there we go. That air frost ability. It's a good strategy. I don't know why you treated. You do 130 damage regardless. Are you hoping that I'm going to knock this one out? Oh, you're going to steam up. Oh, he boosted his attack. He's going to knock me out. Smart move. Good show, good show. That was pretty... That was creative. That was creative, man. I can't even be mad about that. That was smart. That was very smart. Good strategy. 10 out of 10. I'm going to touch that double colorless. I'm going to evolve you. I don't know if I can use this Evo Soda on the same turn. I'm pretty sure that I can't. This counts as evolving that Pokemon. Yeah. I'm not going to waste it. All right. I'm going to knock you out. Oh, that damage. Maybe I'll get something good out of here. This is this is turning into a pretty close match. It's going good. This is going really well. That one's out. He's going to play up that one. I think he's going to steam up again. Uh, it all depends. Does he... Oh, oh, oh. He's getting back some cards. Oh my god. He got all of his fires back from his discard. That's cool. He's only going to be able to do... Oh no, he won't knock me out. He's going to steam up. But he will not knock me out. I will survive. Can he double steam up? Are you serious? What? Okay, that's smart. That, I can't even be mad. I, li I literally cannot even be mad at that. That was, that was damn good. That was very, very good. You, you, I respect you. That was really, really well done. If I don't disconnect. He's down to one. I, I can't even be mad. I really can't. That's just that's just good. That's just some good play, right there. That's some darn good play. I'm not gonna be able to knock out anything of his. Let's go do a hundred. I just don't have the energy to uh, follow through on it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that was a good match. I'm ah. Oh, I was hoping to draw you out, man. I really was. I was hoping to get you down. And out of cards. You're, he's just juggling him around. That's smart. That is really smart. He goes steam up. Ah. Uh, he's probably going to have another one steam up. Nope. That's all I needed. Man. Good game. Good freaking game. Damn. <laughs> that, was, that was a good match. That was a very good match. I hope you accepted my friend request. I really do. Uh, it looks like maybe he didn't. I might have fucked up by ending it too quickly. I don't even remember his name. Well, shit. Well, alright. Let's go in and play our Houndoom deck. This will be our final game for today. Maybe that guy will accept my friend request, which would be cool. These are just some random people. Ah, uh, Alright. I was going with Houndoom. This deck, the goal of this is not to take prize cards using this deck. This deck is literally to make your opponent draw out their cards and just make them lose by eventually just uh, running out cards to draw. He has the advantage. That's totally fine. This fully depends on me actually getting really lucky on my draws. Fully depends on it. <laughs> um, I lost a coin flip, that's okay That's totally okay I can deal with that Ah uh, didn't Nothing really to be too excited about Actually, that's kind of Kind of saddening 
Reshiram is a good card to have up as a lead and anything. I do have uh, Blacksmith. Which is cool. I also have Crushing Hammer, which is also nice. I can Hot Poison, which will be a nice advantage early in the beginning. What do you have? Yvotol. That's sweet. And we'll be done. I'm not trying to get rid of my hand yet. Oblivion Wing isn't too strong. He is going to use that though. Luckily my weakness is water and not anything else. Ooh, that looker is so pretty. Oh, beautiful card. Beautiful card. Man. Only 30 damage. I can deal with that. I can eat three more of those. Well, technically four more of those to my face. So, we're going to go ahead and evolve Salazzle up. And we're going to do that. Hot poison. Best thing in the world. And then we're going to Crushing Hammer. And it fails. Darn. Luckily, though, if my game would load, we can Outrage. Oh, and it's going to do a lot of damage. 50 damage. We'll take that. We might get darn close to knocking him out. He did get rid of the burn, though, unfortunately. But what's nice is even if he does have a double colorless, I'm going to be able to knock him out. He better get something on his bench, or I might actually surprisingly win with this Houndoom deck. That's not even supposed to win in this way. Rocky Helmet, okay. Not go do too much. That's fine. I still have Salazzle. I'm at advantage, man. I don't know what you're planning. I don't know what you're planning. Oh, he just ate the damage, I guess. Alright, well, it looks like we win. <laughs> uh, Alright, well... Uh, well played. And we're just gonna scorch a breath of you in the face, uh huh? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, there you go. Game one. Woo! And we got our Houndoom GX. I'll take that. You know what? Because that was so quick. Because we have time. I'm gonna go in for another game. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully, it'll go on a bit longer. Maybe. Possibly. That would be cool. I want that one guy with the Vulcanian to accept my friend request. I'm really sad that he hasn't. We got a chest though. That's cool. That's cool. I'll deal with that. All right, let's do Houndoom. Do Houndoom again. I guys, I want to show you guys how he works. Now how this, how I've built this deck. And somehow, okay, neither of us have advantage. He was playing one heck of a mix of cards, though. This could be interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I actually won the coin flip. I have no idea what he's going to play. But again, I'm just trying to mess with him. Oh, oh, yes. We got, we got good old Houndoom. Good old freaking Houndoom. And we also got Team Rocket's handiwork. Oh, my God. We are set, and we got fire energy on top of some double colorless. Mmm. This is looking good. This is looking great. Got our good old fancy reverse holo turnator. God, I love this card. I love this card so much. You have no idea. Alright. We got our fancy, fancy Houndoom EX. We're going to see how much we can absolutely... Oh, wow. Using a Houndoom. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Are you going to be playing a Houndoom deck too? That would be interesting. Hopefully I discard everything you have though. <laughs> uh, there goes my internet connection again. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, great ball. He is... He's looking for something. Looking for something. He's trying. Got to land it. He's playing kind of similar to what I'm doing, only different types. Which is cool. That's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, I think he might be doing that dragon, whatever it's called. The third stage evolution of Dano, Diano, Diego. Yeah, that's that's what we'll call him, Diego. All right. Let's see how badly I can ruin your life. <laughs> uh, he, oh, no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got rid of two cards on top of his deck. We're going to make that a total of four for this turn. 
Ooh, I think one of those was evolution card though. Oh, it was. It was his Houndoom. That's gonna slow you down a little bit, my friend. Just a tiny bit. I yeah, know he's only building on that one area. I mean, that's cool. Uh... First new balloon is helpful. I'll save it for now. I'm going to go ahead and build up Turtonator a little bit. He needs it. And I'm going to Melting Horn again. Bye bye, two cards. Oh, it was Energy and a Great Ball. He's already down to 34 cards. I'm at 45. Are you guys starting to understand how this deck works? It just slowly breaks down everything. And I love it. I love it so much. You know what? I am going to do Professor Rich. I want to make it so Houndoom can actually attack. I want to give him a bit of an advantage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Would you like to be... Uh, no. No, thank you. Huh. I don't really want Houndoom to be my primary attacker. I'll fall on the Nihel Geo if I really need to. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Goodbye, another top two cards. And another one was just another Houndoom. It's amazing. Wearing him down. Just taking out all of his cards. Getting rid of every evolution. This is great. It just totally ruins your opponent's game. He's building this up. Oh, he Professor Sycamore. Wow, you just made my job even easier, my friend. Ah, oh, he does have an Umbreon GX. Good card. Oh, he's going to also have a Ninetales GX. This could be interesting. Could be interesting. I want to pick three random cards from your hand. Ah, oh, looks like I'm not going to be able to pick three random cards from your hand. But you know what I can do is Melting Horn, another top two cards off your deck. Yep. Boom, boom. Gradually working him down. I'm getting rid of so many of his energy, and it's really going to mess him up. Only thing that I could think of is that maybe he will retreat. And he's putting in Vulpix. Oh, he's going to Beacon. Smart move. He's going to pull two Pokemon, which is going to put him a bit lower. Which could be bad for him. Because I have Team Rocket's handiwork still. <laughs> which, you guys haven't read this one. Flip two coins for each heads, discard two cards. Which has means if I get double heads and anything, uh, I could really mess them up. I could take out six cards total. So we're gonna play that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and play that. And anything. I'm not too worried about his Volpix right now. Heads, heads. Oh, oh, there went four, and then there go another two. Ah, oh, beautiful. And I got rid of Pokemon Center Lady. He only has 12 cards in his hand now. Deck. <laughs> See, this is why I love this. He's taking all this time to build. And it's just not going to do any good. To put how effective this is, he has 12 cards in his deck. I have 34. Or 38. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wrecks. Unless if you're going to Beacon again, little buddy, with your uh, Vulpix, I don't think that you're really going to have too much fun. Nope, he's not. He is not. I do have another Houndoom right there to just set over to the side. Good old little Houndoom. If my game stops freezing, because that would be absolutely amazing, because my internet service is absolute garbage when it comes down to this game. Hopefully I don't... Oh, oh, nope, we got the red X. We got the red X, everybody. This is bad. We might disconnect. If we do disconnect, we'll just call it a win. Yep, that's what we'll do. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, we're back. We're back. It's Team Skull Grunt. See if we can get lucky. See if I can get rid of two. Oh, okay, okay. There's only one energy in his hand. That's fine. Go get rid of it, though. Sorry. And then we're going Melting Horn again. He only has another five turns left until I absolutely uh, take him out. Actually, less than that. Four turns. <laughs> um, it also depends if I get another one of those uh, lucky fancy energies. Okay, there's the evolution. This is what we were looking for. God, suffocating. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he didn't get rid of a card from me. Weird. Very, very weird. Huh. Well, I'm going to pop energy on you. I'm going to evolve. 
Uh, yes. Come on. Come on, game. You got this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Do I have any fire energies? Nope. Because nothing's been discarded. So Grand Flame will be really pointless right now. Uh, what's this melting horn again? This could go entirely wrong. I could absolutely completely screw up myself. I got rid of more of his dark energy though. So, luckily, darn it. He did get rid of his burn. That does kind of suck. I don't really have anything else to fall back onto. <laughs> I haven't gotten lucky and pulled any more fire energies out. Which kind of sucks. He's going to be able to pull two prize cards. Uh, which is totally fine. Let's go ahead and play Hound Doom again. Let's see if maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can get lucky. Maybe. Ah, uh, pulled out Entei. Unfortunately, no energies. Which is unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to be able to outlast him in six turns. <laughs> so this might backfire a little bit. It might just backfire. Oh, oh, we're losing connection again. No, no, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see what this little exclamation point is. Oh, no. I was thinking that maybe he accepted my friend request. I'm going to go ahead and add you. Yes. Luckily, he did not knock out my Houndoom. That's cool. Now, hopefully, I will get an energy. Please. Yes. I got the fire energy. I will take it. If my game would stop freezing. Let's just melting horn. Give myself that wee bit of an advantage again. Maybe. Again, this could all entirely fall back onto my head. And just completely mess me up. But, my connection doesn't stop going away. We'll never find out. Haha. <laughs> ah, there are another two cards. He's down to three. Ah, if I had gotten something to heal Houndoom and anything, we would have won. He would have ran out of cards. I think I might still be able to outlast him, actually. Let's see, who has the most HP? You're 180, you're also 180. You're more likely to be able to attack. Or, no, you do 120 damage. But that will save me for two turns. You know what? You know what? No, yep, 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 here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Turnator. You're gonna be my little buddy that draws him out. And make me win. Even when you do get knocked out and anything, we will be fine. Got nothing. Darn it. That's okay, though. That's okay. He's got to draw. Here it comes. Unless if he has something that makes him shuffle all of his hand back into his deck, uh, we should win. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Um, there's another energy. Is he going to try and discard an energy from me? I do believe that that's what he's going to do. Yep. That's totally fine, though. It's my turn. We got double colorless energy again. That's okay. That is okay. Doesn't really matter, though. Here's go. I have to draw. Here it comes. If my game would stop freezing again. There we go. 110. You go. I have to draw, man. There we go. Last one. The Houndoom deck. Coming in clutch. <laughs> Although, not really. Uh, he only has one prize card left. If I had played that differently, I would have lost. Uh... But he just did his attack, he's going to be able to choose one of his prize cards, but he has nothing else to draw. So, regardless of whatever I play next and anything, I win. So we'll go ahead and play Nihel Niheligo, however you pronounce that. And, uh, maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't, and we didn't. But whatever, we'll just humor it, attach that fire energy, if my game loads. If it works. Come on, there we go. And now it's his turn. Once my game unfreezes, he's got to draw... Your opponent's turn, nothing else to draw, and it's a victory. This is why I love the Houndoom deck. Absolute, amazingly annoying way to win matches. <laughs> he only had one prize card left, and just eating through their deck just works so, so well. But if you all enjoyed this video, and our two victories, finally, after our Sunday special, where I got absolutely no victories... Um, and especially getting a victory this match in just one heck of a fun way. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, and look forward to Thursday's game. I am finally going to be playing Cuphead, and I am super excited to get into it. And again, uh, as I've said before, hating myself. Because <laughs> from what I gather, Cuphead is just a stupidly stupid difficult game. Uh, there will be rage, there will be tears, there will be anger, there will be cursing, and there will ultimately be me probably stopping and giving up the game, only ultimately to get pulled back into it and start playing again. So, if you all enjoyed today's episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, every little bit helps, and I will see you all next time.